On May 19, 1845, two ships sailed out of England towards the Northwest Passage. The HMS Erebus and HMS Terror carried 128 officers and men under the command of Sir John Franklin. They enjoyed smooth travels until they were last spotted east of the passage's entrance in Baffin Bay. For 170 years, the HMS Erebus and HMS Terror hid beneath the ice until search teams located them in 2014 and 2016. However, the tragic fate of the ships and those on board was already known decades prior. A note was discovered with two messages on a single paper. The first message, dated May 1847, basically stated that all was well. However, the second message, dated April 1848, stated that 15 men and 9 officers had perished, including Sir John Franklin himself. The survivors had supposedly abandoned the ship and camped out on the land. But not only did archaeologists find other letters and personal items belonging to survivors, but the lost survivors themselves. Meet John Torrington, an officer of the Franklin Expedition. Scientists opened his grave in the 1980s for research purposes. After thawing the blocks of ice inside the coffin, they found Torrington staring back at them. He wore the clothes he died in, with his arms and legs tied together to make burial easier. His handkerchief was still tied around his head to keep his jaw closed. Blood samples revealed toxic levels of lead in his system as a result of poor food storage on board the ship. Remnants of pneumonia were found in his lungs. For these reasons, he passed away at the age of 20. However, Torrington was not alone. Fellow crewmen William Brain and John Hartnell were also buried next to him. Their memorials can be found in Beachy Island, where their camp was and where they passed away. <laughs>